Hey everybody, welcome to another Let's Play. I'm gonna play some more short indie games. You know, I'm just gonna do more of that. And just uh, cause this is my first time doing YouTube Let's Plays. So I'm gonna focus on short little games. This is another indie artistic kind of game. It's called Dolly. And it's got, it's like, it's kind of cliche in the sense that it has like a generic storyline um, of most kind of sad, depressing kind of indie games. Um, but the art is is definitely fantastic, and and I don't really have any quarrel with how they did the story. It's not very long, um, but it is kind of overdone by now. And you'll you'll see. Like if you watch Let's Plays, you you probably know this one. Um, all right, so I'm gonna open up the game now. Alright, here we go. So it's kind of like a Windows game. Let's see if I can... Put the light in this. Nope. Alright. Push spacebar to start. Kind of like the logo too, how they did the dolly. Okay. I understand how painful this is for you, but you need to give me an answer. And then there's a whoopsie at the bottom. <laughs> it's the right thing to do. For her sake and yours. And then now we're in the game. All right, so right away you get—it's just gorgeous. This game is gorgeous, and, and just listen to that music. It's so just serene and peaceful. The echoes, and you can tell like it's reversed too. All right, so, the so it's like left and right arrow keys and spacebar to jump. And this is another side-scrolling platformer. And it's like a puzzle game too, in that aspect. It's not too like crazy, but yeah. And you do get a double jump. You just continue on to the side here. And they have like little falling leaves. It's just a this game is so gorgeous. And I found the controls very intuitive and very easy. You'll notice like that is one thing that's bad, like they use like the same kind of three colors, which isn't bad, but in this aspect you can't really see the antlers on this little creature here when you're behind the sun. But I'm worried about that side. <laughs> look at that, like they do have some kind of degree of uh, difficulty. With that, like you have to land on this very small platform. And you notice that, like now it's like a circle. It's pretty cool. And of course, <laughs> they have to have spikes. And that's what happens when you die. You just burst into like this, uh, just burst like a burst of blood or something like that. Yeah. Okay. So naturally, you have to. You press the button down and it does a thing, and then you have to wait it down, you know? So that's what that thing up there is, so we're gonna go get that right now. Right. And I don't think there's any fall damage. kind of pan out so you can see like the whole part of the level. Like those trees are really detailed for being pixelated graphics, you know? This is like the end bit. 
And you, you'll notice I, like, you might have to rewind the video if you didn't see it. But we're basically climbing that structure. And I do have one little complaint about this section, is that like, because you can wall jump like this you know, you can scale like the level of the level but, like, really easily but they make it like that where it bumps your head so you can't really do that all the time and it's moving so it's trying to throw you off and I always found that going up here and like getting your bearings is the best way to proceed to the next level. So I'm gonna try to see the way like this. Oh! Okay. So I just went on the bottom. That's what I found was you have to do like a side jump like that. And then you can get up to it pretty easily. I think this way. That's another thing is it kind of like doesn't really let you know what's going on. I think this is one where you have to like, yeah like that, where you have to like double jump in the air like that. So they're like, that is something that I haven't really seen before is where you have to like double jump while you're, while like jumping on the side. <laughs> I would actually have to go up both sides, so I'll just go this way because I'm already halfway there. <laughs> and so these were like the little antler things at the end. There's no real point in going over here, I don't think it was. And you just push these things in here. Put the wind down on both sides. So we need to jump all the way up on the other side. And we need to be on this side so we can push it in there. It's all crazy. Here's like the second part of the story. And the screen is black. See now we're like back at the beginning. But you can see that she's like a skeleton now. So this is the, the girl that I think is supposed to be like on her deathbed. Um, and the, now you're descending the other, like you're going the other way now. Right? And so there's more platforms. This time it's like all the small ones. Eee? I don't know if I ever went down there before. I don't really see why you yeah, it's, I think it's just gonna fall to your death, and then you have to restart. I don't think I've died once in there. Well, I, I died a couple times with the spikes at the beginning there, just to show what the death looks like. Now let's just drop off just to see. <laughs> Alright, so you go curse black at the bottom. Oh! Yeah, like a triple jump now. Look at that. Like some kind of stag or something. That's mountains. So it's a very arts. Oh. <laughs> See, like, that's the thing I was complaining about where it, like, doesn't really tell you what's good. Like when you're gonna be going to the next part of the level, it just kind of throws you in. Alright, let's do this. I remember dying a bunch at this part. This part. <laughs>
here. Like, this is kind of ruthless. <laughs> mm. This, this part reminds me of the game Journey. Cause like you're descending in uh, a snowy mountain to get to the top. And it, like, it's gonna slow me down. I believe. See, yeah, see. Now I'm all slowed down. The more we get up to the top of the mountain. Which is very much like Journey. And yes, you can move. It's just... It's going really slow. <laughs> it's trying to create suspense though, you know? So that's, that was Dolly, and yeah, yeah, like, she dies. Like, that story's been done so many times that it's just, it has no effect on me now, but it is a very, very dramatic story, you know? And it's not a very long game, but it, it was very well done. The, the controls were really, really good. Um, the art was just fantastic. The music was great. It, it's a good game. Like, I put, I, I mark it as a good game. It's just, uh, it's just shorter than I might have liked. But, like, with, with indie projects like that, um, oftentimes they are done in those game jams where they're, like, trying to make it as fast as possible. Um, so that kind of makes it a short game and makes the graphics not as good. But with this one, I think they, uh, they really wanted it to look good and that's probably what took the most time making this game I don't really know but I'm just you know that's just my opinion here is that probably the the most effort was put into the artwork and and I think they really did well and so that was Dolly um, you guys have a good rest of your day um hope you guys liked it um I'll put the link to get this game in the description uh it's another free game and uh, catch you guys later.